Welcome back to the Christian Meditation Podcast, episode 54, To Soar on Wings Like Eagles, a guided Christian meditation on Isaiah chapter 40, verses 28 through 31. I've worked as a hospice chaplain and an ICU chaplain in a busy hospital, and my purpose in making this podcast is to help you to find more peace in your life and to be more open to be changed by the Spirit of God. We use a six-part meditation that focuses on first relaxation, followed by a reading from the Bible, meditation on this reading, prayer, contemplative silence, and a visualization on how we can incorporate insights we gain into our lives. If you enjoy this meditation, I ask you to subscribe on Apple Podcasts or wherever you find your podcasts. You can find more links and information at christianmeditationpodcast.com. So get into a place where you can sit comfortably and uninterrupted for the next 20 minutes or so. If you feel comfortable to do so, I invite you to close your eyes. As you sit, you begin to feel your body gently relaxing and becoming free and clear and easy. You begin to notice the pace of your breathing and you allow it to become more calm and slow. With each passing breath, you feel calmness increase in your body. You find a nice rhythm of breathing that works. Allow your breathing to slow gently. This time is a time to dedicate your entire focus and all that you are to God and reflecting on His scriptures. So allow your mind to become clear. Imagine all of your cares floating away and all of your body begins to be light. There's nothing weighing you down. Because you're so light and unburdened, you begin to notice yourself feeling weightless. It's almost as if you can imagine yourself gently floating through the air. All these tensions have left your body and with each passing breath, you feel more and more relaxed and more calm and more ready to place your entire focus on the reading of the scripture. Allow air to gently come into your body, and as it does, it makes you feel lighter and lighter. You notice that as you do this, your body unflexes more and more, and you realize from the beginning of this meditation that your body is so much calmer now. Start to take in how good this feels. How much enjoyment you're getting out of this relaxation. Allow that feeling of gratitude, that feeling of enjoyment to grow and enlarge and fill your body as you imagine yourself gently floating. Imagine yourself now as though you can look through the eyes of an eagle flying over a beautiful valley and you can look below 
and see a gentle wood. You can look below and see some trees as well as a stream. Allow this image to float around in your mind. And as you do, you feel your body continue to relax much more. Now that you're focused, now that you're calm, I'm going to read from a particular scripture in Isaiah chapter 40. First, I'll read from the NABRE. This is verses 28 through 31. It says, Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is God from of old, creator of the ends of the earth, he does not faint or grow weary, and his knowledge is beyond scrutiny. He gives power to the faint, abundant strength to the weak. The young men faint and grow weary, and the youths stagger and fall. They hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on eagles' wings. They will run and not grow weary and walk and not faint. Focus on what message you felt or heard as you were listening to the scripture. Now I'll read from the English Standard Version, the ESV. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint and to him who has no might. He increases strength. Even youths shall faint and be weary, and young men shall fall exhausted. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Focus on this message of the scripture and notice similarities and differences between these two translations. What does the scripture mean? So this particular scripture was recommended to a new friend of mine, whose name is Sue. I'm so glad to cover it because it's always been such a favorite of mine. In humans, we've long envied the birds, the flight of birds. Through different machines, we've gained a perspective of the world as never before. Recently, I was watching, earlier this week, I was watching the launch of a NASA, it's a joint mission. I was watch, watch, earlier this week, I was watching a joint launch of a program that NASA was sharing with the German space program. They were launching a rocket and they had a camera mounted on this rocket and you can watch the perspective of the earth as the rocket climbed higher and higher into the air where you begin to see the curvature of the earth and the air begins to be dark blue and then finally black it's amazing to see in such a small period of time something that humans have created has gone so high up in the air it's amazing to see the dramatic changes over such a small period of time as a number of minutes. We gain a new perspective about the world, and perhaps this is why flight has been so compelling to humans for so long. And I imagine how amazing it would feel to fly as an eagle, as it says in the scripture. In that height, you could see for miles and distant mountains, high clouds, observing the earth grow small 
And as I think about this view, I think either from that of the eagle or from a rocket, I imagine how limited our view is compared to the perspective of God. The scripture points out that he is the creator of this earth. He observed the foundations. He was there. He formed it with his hands. And he's seen it change over time. Isaiah is careful to point out the vast differences in the powers of God and ours. Despite his role as creator, his ability to see the whole world, God never tires. In contrast to this, as humans, even in our prime, we tire from doing nothing more than moving relatively slowly along the surface of the earth, something we call running. We're not able to move mountains. We're not able to fly. We're not able to do many other things. And any truly great thing we aspire to is through the power of God and what he has allowed for us. It's through his power we can run beyond our strength and accomplish things we never could have conceived of. For those who have no power, he gives power to overcome. He makes the weak mighty. How fortunate we are to have such a creator and have such a God. Please join me in prayer. Holy Father, we lift our voices to thee in humble prayer. We reflect on our need of thee. and We are ever mindful and ever in need of thy assistance. Please inspire our efforts, inspire our minds now as we ponder this scripture. As we attempt to find insights from the scriptures to speak to our hearts and we can connect with thee. Guide us in our daily pursuits that as we focus on the scripture, that we can have insights in how to improve and change our lives today and tomorrow and in the years to come. And this we say in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. I invite you to continue in prayer now. I'll give you a couple more moments. Now I invite you to sit in contemplative silence, allowing these feelings to resonate in your heart.
I'll give you a couple more moments. Hopefully you've had an experience with this scripture, an experience with the peace of God. If you had, I want you to consider how you would explain this to someone else, whether it's through a journal of your own, an email to a close friend, or a phone call. Just how would you explain this and think that through? give you a couple more moments. Now that you've tried to articulate what insight you've gained or what experience you've had here, imagine how, in as much detail as possible, how this experience now will lead to tangible changes in your life, whether it's an insight gained a feeling of reassurance, or what have you. I'll give you a couple more seconds. I release a new episode every Sunday morning at 1 a.m. Mountain Time in the United States. I recently moved time zones, so I may, I may change that slightly, and I'd appreciate your feedback if that would be an issue for you. You can reach out to me at christianmeditationpodcast.com forward slash contact, and that form will send me an email directly to my inbox. So I'm going to have a final question as well as a final thought. The question I want you to ponder is this. What issue in your life that you're struggling with do you imagine could be changed if you had a different perspective? So consider an issue in your life, a challenge, Imagine how that could be changed if you had an alternate perspective. Here's my final thought. I've enjoyed this scripture for a long time. It's often used in the military chaplaincy world because there are young men who run and walk with heavy backpacks, etc. Aside from that, this scripture is really meaningful because it has so many things packed in there. It has the sovereignty and the power of God and how that is greater than our own power and how God specifically desires to bless the weak. And I find myself grateful for that because very often I am in that position. I am the weak. And I imagine each one of us in our time can imagine that this. there are times when we stand in need. If you are struggling with something, know this. God can give power to the weak and those who rely on his mighty arm will be strengthened. The greatest things we could ever hope to accomplish on this earth are through the power of God. Spend time with Him through meditations like this, through prayer on your own, through scripture study. And I know that if we do this, I know that if we do this, He will give us power to overcome all the things which challenge us in our lives. It may not ever seem easy, 
It may never seem fun to go through these hard challenges that we have, but it will always be possible with his help. I know that he desires to help us, and as we do this, we gain additional trust and faith in him, and this helps us in our journey. His greatest desire for us is that we learn and grow and become closer to the example that was set by by the perfect example of Jesus Christ. As we rely on him, we are more able to do that. May this be our goal. And this I say in the name of Jesus Christ, amen.